Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining how to increase horsepower. How to get your car moving faster. So when you put in a device on your car or you do something to your car in order to try and make it accelerate more quickly um, by increasing horsepower, there's one of several things that you're going to try and do. One of several things that that device is going to try and alter about your engine. So at wide open throttle your engine is burning a set amount of fuel. Now, in order to make more power, why not burn more fuel? So, some devices will try and allow your engine to be able to burn more fuel. Well, in order to burn more fuel, you also need more oxygen. So, a device could add air or oxygen directly or something that allows oxygen to be, um, extra oxygen to be in your combustion chamber when you ignite your air-fuel mixture. So, by having more oxygen or more air, in that chamber then you can burn more fuel and hence you can create more power because you have a greater force uh, pushing down on that piston ultimately you're creating more torque uh, on the crankshaft so another way you can increase horsepower is to increase your efficiency so if your engine is more efficient it's what it's doing is is it's losing less power so if it's losing less power well then it's making more power so one of the ways you can do this is to increase the compression ratio. So if you increase your compression ratio, naturally your engine is going to be more efficient. And so you will have more horsepower than if you had a lower compression ratio. Also, you can reduce friction. So if you can reduce friction anywhere where two items that are moving in your engine are moving and they touch, if you can reduce the friction between those two items, then you're going to reduce the amount of heat created uh, between those two items touching and therefore your engine is going to be more efficient so it will be creating more useful power. Another way to increase horsepower is if you can somehow increase the engine's RPM. So if you can have this explosion in here occur more times in one minute, say it occurs 100 times in a minute versus 50 times in a minute, well that's directly going to increase the horsepower assuming that all else is equal. So. If you haven't watched my video on horsepower versus torque, that's a great uh, video to check out. But basically, horsepower is equal to torque times RPM divided by 5252. So if you increase RPM, obviously your horsepower is going to go up. Double your RPM, double your horsepower, assuming all else is equal. And finally, one more way that you can increase your horsepower at the wheels is if you can reduce inertial forces. So what this means is, like this piston here, so this piston has a certain weight, and to accelerate that, you have to push a certain force on it. Well, if you decrease the weight of this piston, then it takes less force to make it move and less force to make it stop once it's the bottom and then has to go back up. So that's less energy that you have to use moving the piston and more energy that you can use moving your car. Another way is rotational inertia. So when you accelerate, you have to accelerate all of your uh, rotational items like your drive shaft, your transmission gears, your wheels, your differential, all of those things start rotating. So that's a topic I'll get into in more detail. But basically that's another way to increase your wheel horsepower. Now, all of this you need to keep in mind that in order to increase, to increase your wheel horsepower, traction cannot be the limiting factor. So if you press on your gas pedal and you instantly your tires start spinning, well then it doesn't matter how much power you're making because you're not putting any of it down. So if traction is the limiting factor, you have to increase grip in order to increase the usable wheel horsepower. How do you do this? Well, you could get stickier tires and that changes your frictional coefficient. I've used this equation a lot. Force, the force that you can put on the, t onto the ground is equal to the frictional coefficient between your tires and uh, the ground that you're on and the normal force on those tires, so the weight on those tires. So you can either increase the friction by using stickier tires or you can increase the force pushing down on the tire. Now using weight to increase the force pushing down on the tire isn't necessarily the greatest idea because that means your car is heavier. Force equals mass times acceleration, so if you increase the mass of your car then it accelerates more slowly. So you're kind of uh, defeating the whole purpose here. So what you would like to do is change, ideally change that frictional coefficient 
or use something like aerodynamics in order to increase the normal force without increasing the weight of the car. So I'm going to get into more of these um, topics more specifically and different devices and tools and ways that you can increase horsepower, but all of them are probably going to try to achieve one of these things that I've listed here in order to increase your horsepower and make your car accelerate more quickly.